Good morning. We are taking off. We're about to be heading onto the plane soon. It was actually super frustrating getting here, but we're here on time and we should be boarding in the next few minutes. I'll give y'all more details when we get to the hotel. So we were driving to the resort, but then we decided to check this spot out because we saw a sign for Scotchies that we really wanted to try. So we're heading there now. So this is the little bathroom here and then this is it's like the bathroom is in the bedroom which is like not my favorite but it has like this curtain to separate it okay and this is the bed and so I got the ocean view room so this is what that looks like here you still see ocean, but there's definitely still a lot of pool that you see. Isn't this just beautiful? So we're walking to the all-white party. Well, it's more like a dinner, rehearsal dinner kind of thing. from Jamaica. Look at how beautiful this whole scenery is. So we've actually been up for a while. My boyfriend woke up and his phone was like locked out of his screen. So it was like this whole thing. He does not have Apple. So we actually like looked for the company of his phone. I think it's like Android One Plus, whatever, whatever. It's working. So 
all is well on this beautiful day and today is the day of the wedding. Okay, so let me explain to y'all this COVID testing situation. So you have to get COVID tested three days prior to your trip, okay? So I definitely did that. And at home, of course, you know where all the places are to get your COVID testing. And uh, I actually went to the airport and a family got COVID tested four days prior instead of three days prior and they legitimately denied them at the airport. Like they had kids, the kids were crying, they were really upset. And actually that whole scenario delayed our flight because then they had to retrieve their bags. And I was just like, how did they even, were, how were they even able to drop off their bags and make it all the way to the, um, to where we board for the plane before they found out that they couldn't get on because of their COVID test. I was like, that's crazy. And that actually delayed our flight. And that was a whole nother situation that was very frustrating. Um, but then as soon as I got to the hotel, they were like, you're here for four days. So tomorrow you got to get COVID tested. And I was like, what? And they're like, you need to sign up right now to get your COVID test. And I'm like, oh my gosh, so like you got to fill out all this paperwork and to, to get COVID tested. And then they were like, your test will be on Saturday. And I was just like, I'm going to be off the result all day on Saturday. Like I can't get tested then and they're like well you should be and the, the the problem is is that whatever form they make you fill out is 24 hours before they give you an appointment so that's why it was like you'll get your appointment time on saturday and i'm like i can't wait for saturday like i want to get it on friday i'll be on the resort on friday so today's friday um the front desk told me just go down early and let them know that you can get tested on saturday and they'll squeeze you in on friday so i get down there the nurse isn't there and then they put me on a list and then we come back around 10 when they say the nurse is actually going to come. So 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm a very early riser. I was up since 6 o'clock in the morning. So so much of my day was like spent waiting around for like getting ready for this test, right? The nurse is running late. Apparently she had an emergency. By the time 10 o'clock rolls around, there's like 30 something people waiting for testing. Luckily, because I came down earlier... I was number two so when she finally came around 10 35 i was like the second person to get covid tested and it actually went so fast but it was really minutes to 11 before i'm free from worrying about a covid test and i could start my day of enjoying jamaica so that's like the one thing that is kind of frustrating with getting tested and this covid regulations i said as long as these regulations are in place from here on out, I'm not doing a four day trip because as soon as I land, I have to worry about getting a test again. I'm doing five days or more so at least I can like get settled in before I'm worrying about a test. And if there's any delays, it's okay because it really can possibly take up a lot of your time, which it shouldn't. I wish it was kind of a little bit better organized or uh, just more easy flow for the, um, the guests at the hotel. But that was it. So really be on your A game. Do not slip up. Make sure you're doing the right days for your test before you leave the States. And when you get to whatever country you're at, you know where you're getting your test at and like what the process is like. Because this definitely could have put a damper on my day if I wasn't proactive about it. So that's that. Now I'm going to go enjoy the beautiful Jamaica chill out on the pool before my beautiful friends say I do.
husband and wife. So make some noise for them. Relax, relax. Very... In the air and wave it like you just don't care. Let's welcome Mr. and Mrs. Dennis. Um, I'm just Yo, yeah, somebody connect to the Hawks, man. Yeah. Brian, we are not worried about that right now. Like 500 of us will be talking about the Hawks. Why is this We're finally back and this dress is going in the garbage. Like, I can't. There's a hole at the bottom of the dress. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see. Oof. And I'm done with trusting Shein for any fancy dress occasions. I'm sure there's probably some, ho I'm sure there's probably some holes other places as well, but it's garbage time, but it looks well. It looks good for the occasion. So it's another beautiful day in Jamaica. And we are planning to go do some activities today. The wedding group, they're doing their own activities, but we have the ability to choose to join them or do our own thing. So we're choosing our own thing.
scary. The view is beautiful. We're almost to the to the top of Mystic Mountain where all the activities are actually located at. that experience even though we're still going but now it's slow so we can actually videotape how was it it was exhilarating it was fun who was screaming the most um babe how was the <laughs> how was the role how was the bobsled did you have fun it was awesome babe i'm like i'm playing with were them. you screaming or were Listen. you not so just got off the bobsled and this is the gift shop you enter when you're done All right, and we're heading down from Mystic Mountain and we are gonna talk about how it went. How did you think it went, babe? I think it went awesome. Um, actually, once we got up there and got to the bobsled, things went pretty fast. It was I, fun. Yeah, the line was a little bit long. I think the yeah. part of the time of the day we came. But then it moved fast. Yeah, it definitely moved fast. Once we got on there, that's when the adrenaline kicked in, to be honest with you. And you know, I did not know it was that fast compared to the first time we did this back in 2015. He reacted the same both I, ways. I don't, I, I'm not sure about that. So as you can see in Mystic Mountain, they also do zip lining, which we didn't do. I don't necessarily love zip lining, so I'm not sad that we didn't do it. Okay, on our way down and almost there, as you can see, All right, we're gonna shut it off so that we can hop off of it. Wait, they just go back up? After getting tested Friday morning around 10.30 in the morning, my COVID results were not ready until around 2 p.m., 3 p.m. on Saturday afternoon. And that is really scary to me because they originally wanted me to get my test on Saturday afternoon and my, my flight home was Sunday morning. So I am so lucky that I took that test on Friday and got my results that Saturday afternoon because if I, if I ever, if I did take that test on Saturday afternoon, it would not have resulted in time for my flight back home so if you are planning to travel to another country we have to get tested to enter back into the states so you need to know the timeline of of covid testing in the country that you're going to it's really important and of course make sure that you're using you're doing all kind of covid precautions because if you test positive in another country that's going to be a problem because then you can't enter the states and a shout out to our amazing butler because she actually picked up my COVID results. We were on excursions when my COVID results were ready and it had to be picked up in an office and we didn't get home till later that evening. So she made sure that she got the results and put it into under our door so I can get it when I entered my room. So shout out to her. She was just so amazing. And the butler service with the Royalton was something that I did pay extra for. So we had a whole bunch of mangoes because my boyfriend is Jamaican and he went and got mangoes. Wait, babe, what are those? Those are mangoes, but those ones are called plumbing. Plumbing. So he got that from a family friend and picked them up. And they were just sitting in our room. We're so extra, I know. So our butler, who was cleaning our room, she saw it and decided to get us mangoes from her backyard because she was like, y'all love mangoes so much. Here are some more mangoes. How sweet is that? The only thing is like, I don't know how much of this we can eat ourselves. On our way to dinner. This is the resort at night. 
So that's our butler and that's my boyfriend and they're bonding off of my boyfriend's Jamaicanness, I guess. on the flight but I can't believe it's over it was such a beautiful trip celebrating my friends love visiting Jamaica eating some good food like that's the way the trip is supposed to be the only thing is that I wish that the trip was longer three so we were here on Thursday so technically four days but Thursday I came in like half day I'm leaving early this morning so really only two full days definitely need longer especially when you gotta worry about COVID testing in between your trip Definitely would recommend visiting Jamaica, but I feel like everyone knows that they should be visiting Jamaica. This is my third trip, and I know I'm going to be coming here multiple more times. <laughs>